Hi, this is Rich B and AZ, and hopefully this is going to be the last time I'll be talking about horizontal laser balancing of a car tire. Uh, this is the bottom of my car tire stand. I don't think I've actually shown it before, but this is one of the leveling bolts. It's got a nut in the base. I just drilled a hole to put it in, and then it's got a screw on the top side so I can level it out. Why is that important? Well video that's just going to follow this one you'll see why it's important that this surface when you're balancing using one of these two balls is level it is flat but it needs to be level as well so I'll go into that a bit you'll notice in the video that follows the wheel is not level when it's next to the car because I did not adjust this to be level and it tips quite a bit that does affect the end result. So have a look at this video. I'm going to put links below in the text to show the other two attempts I've made. But I think I have a complete solution now for this. Enjoy! Alright, so according to my calculations, this two and a half inch steel ball should work to balance the Corolla wheel, which it didn't do with the 80 millimeter or three and one eighths steel ball. Let's see if that's true. And it's working. It's stable. Because I can actually let go of it. And it's sitting on there. Okay. Proof of concept done. And I can actually do math and still get it right, mostly. There it is balancing. It's a miracle. When I put the wheel on the balancing stand with the steel ball, I noticed that I deliberately did not balance the base. And the balanced wheel I put on tipped towards the car, in this case. Uh, so that brought something to mind. Does the base have to be level? If the base is not leveled, you get a good result. Well, clearly it kind of looked like you don't because I know the wheel is balanced and it was way tipped over. So this is like the previous result of theory, which I'm going to put a link to in the notes below. And we'll see what happens from here. So over here, I've added a couple of things. The weight of the wheel, which is on the axis. There's a reaction force from the base so that it holds it in vertical equilibrium. Now when you tip the base, see here's the base is tipped. The weight still acts through the CG of where the wheel is. So it's straight down. But there's a reaction force here is now off to the side. So that creates a moment trying to turn it counterclockwise. So the tire will actually turn on tip that way. I'm going to call that to the left. When the wheel tips to the left, the CG point, which is a little low here, this is exaggerated. When the CG, when the wheel tips, the CG moves to the right until it gets above the new point of contact and now it's in balance again, but the whole wheel is tipped to the left. So in answer to my initial question, does the base have to be level? The answer is yes, for this type of balancing. You could have a level base and get the wheel level and you'll be good. I'm going to redo my laser ball balancing method. Uh, this is the same tripod I have before. I'll put a link in the description. It's got these bolts on it, three bolts. There's one over the other corner. There's a nut I've put in the other side. And the important thing is leveling it. So I have it level in two directions. And I use the screws to do that. You just turn them until it's level. Yeah, looks good. And I have a now I have a steel plate on the top. It's a lot harder than the aluminum plate I had before, which was denting. 
under the weight of the uh, car tire and ball. Okay, so this is the two and a half inch steel ball I'm using, which works on the XB wheels, and it ought to work on the Corolla. I'll prove that when I get time. Uh, depends where the CG is of the tire. There's a link for that. I'm going to put it down in the descriptions. How to figure out where the CG of the wheel is. Uh, generally, if it's unstable, you need a smaller ball. Now, this blue thing here is just to stop the ball rolling off in case I nudge it when I'm balancing it. So I've got the laser turned on. Now I'm going to whip the wheel over and put the wheel on. As you can see, it's wobbling right now. This green line is, I've got it set to line up with the bottom, this inner edge of that tread. So it's a little bit onto the surface of the tire there, so that's probably a high spot. I'll turn it about 90 degrees or so. I have to sell it by hand because it is quite sensitive. Still high. Okay, here it's bouncing between the surface of the tire and the inside bit. So that's probably one of the low spots and the valve is right up here. You see it's, it's going in on the tread at this end, but over here it's going to the surface of the tire. So that is most likely a high spot. And the high spot is a light spot. It's where you're going to have to add weights. Yep. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to drop on two weights and see where that goes. You can see it moves a lot just with the two weights. Those are quarter ounce weights, so that's a half ounce. It's bouncing between the inside and outside, so I like that. Let's go around to the other side. Slow it down a little. It's just edging into it. So I think one way at that location is going to do it. Okay, so it's looking pretty good. It's just about touching the top edge. Look at the weight here. If I go 90 degrees, that's where I added the weight. Very even line all the way around. And then another 90. Happens to be where the valve is. Just edging off into it. So the one weight looks pretty good. That's a quarter ounce accuracy. If I drop another two on here, you'll see how much it moves. So it's gone inside completely now. Yeah. That's how accurate this method is, it's pretty good. So there it is, rocking away. And that's where I'm going to add the weight. So I mark the inside of the tire with that piece of tape to where I need to put the weight. Cleaned off the rim in here, put the stick-on weight right there. The reason I'm using stick-on weights here is because it kind of lines up very close with the CG of the wheel. That way if you stick a weight on the edge, it's away from the, where the CG is so you can get some dynamic vibration. This one should not cause any dynamic imbalance. So it's my favorite place to put a weight now.